Hi guys, welcome back. This is Code Force Round 899, and we're gonna solve the first problem that is increasing the sequence. So let's understand the problem first. So they are telling that we'll be given a sequence of integers. These are all integers like a1, a2, up till a n. And they are telling that a sequence B, this is array A and this is sequence B, B1, B2, Bn is called good if it satisfies all of the following conditions. What are the conditions? Bi is a positive integer for each of the index. So for every index here of length n, it is a positive integer. And whatever uh, Bi is not equal to Ai means, if uh, B2 is here means, this number should not be same. If A2 is 5, B2 cannot be 5. If A2 is 3, B2 cannot be 3 and always it should be a strictly increasing sequence that is 1 2 3 4 5 something like that it should be strictly increasing there should not be less than or equal to something like that they are asking find the minimum value of bn among all good sequences b1 b2 up till bn what are the good sequences 1 2 3 4 5 can be a good sequence i mean for uh, something some a it does not it is not possible right so let's say 10 20 30 40 50 so let's say a1 a2 a3 is 1 2 3 4 5 and this is 10 20 30 40 50 is a good sequence uh like 11 12 13 14 15 is also a good sequence so for a as 1 2 3 4 5 these are all good sequences we need to find what is the minimum value the last value of b that is possible so now let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Let's say for A, they gave us 1, 3, 2, 6, 7. We need to uh, make sure these conditions exist and then we'll try to figure out the answer. So what did they give? 1, 3, 2, 6, 7, right? 1, 3, 2, 6, 7. Now, for first thing, uh, if we want to make a number minimum means we should always start from 1. It should be a positive integer, right? Let's say it's 1. But according to the second condition, they are telling that it should not be equal. So if it's not equal, then the immediate number we need to take. Instead of 1, I just increment by 1, that is 2. Now, it is okay. Now, if I go to the next element, I need to make sure this cannot be 2 here. Why? Because as per the third thing, if this is 2, at least it should be 3, right? So I am keeping the minimum value here, that is 3. Now, 3 and 3 is again same. So I can increment it by 1. I'm just taking the tighter bounds for everything. If this is 4, I can go here and tell that it is 5. That is 4 is less than 5, right? Now 5 and 2 is different. Okay, now we'll go for 6. A 5 is less than 6, but 6 is 6 is same. So what do I do? I just increment this by 7. Now uh, 7, I, I have to definitely put 8 or more. So for this case, it is different. So 8 is the minimum possible value. Similarly, for 2, 3, 4, 5, what do we get? I just start from 1. Okay, 2, 3, 4, 1 less than 2, less than 3, less than 4, all are different. So that's it, the 4 is the minimum value. 8 we already got, for if 1 is there, we can't put 1. So instead of that, we put the next number, that is 2. Now, how do we code it? So let's take this example and try to understand with code. 1, 3, 2, 6, 7, uh, right? So this is 1, 3, 2, 6, 7. Now, first thing, what did I do? Uh, I am assuming the B starting value will be the count. So count will be 1. So we are putting the count here, that is one. Now I understand that B and count is same. So I am incrementing the count. Incrementing the count means count becomes two. That is we are assuming the position of this is two. And I am incrementing the count after each iteration. Why are we doing that is for the next element, at least I need to increment one, right? So that's why count became three. Now we are taking the next element. That is I am taking this one, this three here b equal to equal to count that is 3 is equal to equal to 3 right so i am incrementing the count here that is count gets incremented so i am assuming the position of here is 4 now again count plus plus means it becomes 5 here okay and 5 means everything is fine now i go to 6 this go does not go to the condition 2 is different so it goes to 6 now uh, this both are same if this both are same means i need to increment my count so i increment my count here and again you increment the count then for next thing count plus plus goes 8 both are same then count plus plus goes to 9 so i could i should not get the last number this is through iteration we got the last number we should not increment the count so you just put count minus 1 that is 9 minus 1 means it is just 8 you need to print 8 so that's all it's very simple and uh, this is the solution number you can refer and uh, see you in the next video so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments uh, we'll see you